doing everybody? My name is Oscar, I'm Santa Rita's winemaker and yeah I, I have people coming in right now uh, we're preparing for a, a live with with a friend of mine it's called Ray Parlor uh, he's a midfielder from the Arsenal team uh, he's not playing right now but uh, he was uh, on the invincible team of the Arsenal and I, I think it was season 2003 and 2004 we're gonna ask him and and sorry I have to keep looking at the uh, at the screen because I have to accept him when he gets in and hi Danila and so we're gonna we're gonna talk about soccer of course you know the most important thing he's the big guy here and real from Pelé is it no? yeah yeah he I think I saw him from me which is the most important thing of course and along with that we're gonna keep you know see tasting a couple of wine hey Ray great I forgot my Hello. my headphones hey hey Ray can you hear me yeah I can hear you you okay can you hear me okay yeah 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 good to see you again good to see you I was, yeah I was telling everybody that we, we were gonna have a chat now yeah, uh, talk about a, uh, a little bit about soccer and and along with that, uh, share uh, a couple of. Uh, I've got my wine. I've got my wine. No problem. There we go. Oh, you got your bottles already. Yeah, we're ready Good. to go. We're ready to go. So I'm looking forward to it. So, how how is life in Chile at the moment? Okay. Well, right now it's pretty cold. You know, we're in winter, and uh, and so I'm I'm out here on the barbecue. Uh, we're on quarantine right now, yeah. so so not much to do. But uh, we're also on the on the productive side of the of the winery, you know, making the wine. So we we now and then, like every a couple of times a, a week, we have to go out. Oh, brilliant! I mean, it's, it, the weather's been a little bit rainy here for the last few days, but we've had beautiful weather in London. So uh, it's the summer now. So we're, we're hoping that. Uh, Lots of parties, lots of drinking wine now in the summer in England. So uh, that's why it's nice to get a little bit of advice today, Oscar, or you, to see what the best wine to drink during the summer. Good. Well, yeah, you know, the, that's why the, the, the first wine we're going to taste now, while well, we had this conversation, is going to be the, the 120 Sauvignon Blanc from Santa Rita Winery. Yeah, buddy. And especially because, you, as you say, you know, summer is, uh, is starting now in England. Um, this is a fresh, crispy wine. Yeah. I'm sure people are going to want to drink it and enjoy it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill mine up. Yeah. Here we go. We're, it, Oscar, in England, we always have big portions. Big portions. Lots and lots of wine. Lots of wine. I know you do. So you you see, do. Every time I go there, you know, I, you I share it around. with you. You give it a little swirl. Yeah, so give yeah, to swirl. taste it, you have to, you know, look at the wine first, uh, have yeah. a, a clean wine, clean glass, then you have to smell it. Yeah. You know, see what you find, uh, basic smells. Quite flavors. fruity, yeah? Is it fruity? It's very fruity, very fruity, mm -hmm. and some green notes due to the uh, how close we are from the Pacific Ocean. You know, yeah. Sauvignon Blanc is by far the most important white variety in Chile. Yeah. So and then you start drinking it and yeah, enjoying it's a, it's a little it. Now it's going to be a fresh and crispy wine. Oh yes, very nice, very very subtle. You can you can just it's very easy to drink. I could see me drinking quite a few bottles of that. That's the only problem, Oscar. That's that's worrying. But yeah. a bit more. I could taste a bit of peach. 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 Yeah, a little bit of peach in there. So, so it's very nice, very nice. Good. Well, that's uh, that's how it has to be, you know, crispy, fresh, 
and very easy to drink. I've, I've had it in the, uh, the fridge all day, so it's beautiful. It's lovely and chilled, which is the most important thing as well. It's got to be nice and cold. Yeah. So tell me, Ray, um, you know, I know you are the big guy here. Uh, no, no, and... no, Oscar, come on, you're a legend in Chile. I've heard that, you're a legend. <laughs> well, thank you for that. But we all know that you played on the Invincible team, you know, years ago. And uh, so you are a big guy. And so I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. You know, I, I, I know that, that they used to call you the, the rum for Pelé. And yeah, I, want, I, I want you to tell me why is that? Well, believe it or not, it was Mark Overmars. I don't know if you follow your football, but Mark Overmars played in 98-99. Brilliant winger. Scored lots of goals that season. And in training one day, I went around a few players. I met, I met Den, uh, Dennis Burkham, who's one of our best players. And, and I scored. I hit the ball and it went straight in the top corner. David Seaman's like, whoa, didn't see the ball. And all of a sudden, little Mark Overmars run past me and he went, you are like the Romford Pele. And he, I said to him, because he's, he's from Holland, you don't even know where Romford is. He said, no, I don't know where Romford is, but I heard you come from there. And that afternoon, we'd done the press, believe it or not. And it was so funny because I, I never knew he'd say to the, I, I never thought he'd say to the press, but they said, can you win the league this year and beat Manchester United? And Mark Overmar said, we'll definitely win the league. We've got the Romford Pele on our side. And they put it in the papers. I was like, oh, no. Next day, I went into training. I had a right go at him, but he was laughing and whatever. And uh, lucky enough, we did win the league that year, though. But it wasn't all down to me. It wasn't all down to the Romford Pele. All the team was fantastic, 98, uh, to win the double. Uh, but that was, a, that was a great little story. Mark, little, little Mark Overmars, I, I thought, I've got to get him back somehow. But he only stayed for one or two seasons, and he went to Barcelona. Uh, he got sold to Barcelona. Uh, but that's how I got my nickname, and that's how I kept it today. Everyone calls me the Romford Pele. It's unbelievable. <laughs> One question, Oscar. Do you know where Romford yeah. is? Do you know where Romford is? Sorry, what? Do you know where Romford is in England? No. Oh, where? exactly. So not, not, so not, not, not a lot of people will know where that is. It's in a place in Essex, uh, which where I, I, I grew up as a, a young boy. That's uh, north, right? No, it's, it's east, east side of London. East, east of London, yes. Uh, the, the local team where I was West Ham United. But I signed so for the that... mighty Arsenal. I signed for the mighty Arsenal. Ah, okay. Okay. You know, I've been in quite a few places in, in London, but I, I haven't been there. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, did you enjoy London? Yeah, 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 I love it. I was going to go there in March this year, but then, you know, this quarantine thing and this yeah. COVID stopped me and so we couldn't enjoy it again how, this how, year, but we're looking forward to go again next year. How has it been in Chile? Has it been a proper lockdown? Is it proper? Uh, yeah, yeah. Down? You know, we, ha we had a mixture of um, a really hot weather in, during summer, so we had to, to rush with the harvest. And while we were rushing with it, you know, and crushing like basically all the different varietals for the wines, uh, the COVID in mid-March, you know, came and we had to send, you know, all the, the, the most of the people, you know, to their homes, yeah. uh, above 60 and so forth, you know, with base uh, um, with, uh, 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 you know, uh, with, uh, with base uh, diseases. So we had to send them home, um, yeah. and yeah, it started being really tough. We had to rush with the harvest, but finally okay. we did it. We're good now, and we're on quarantine right now. Well, certainly this one's very nice. The first one you uh, we've tried is superb. I'll have a little bit more of it. Yeah, mm. you know, Ray, I'm I'm looking at the comments here, and somebody's asking, you know, how, how did it feel to to belong to the Invincible team? Oh, it was very special. Um, you know, at the start of the season, you, you always look at it and say, OK, can we win the league? Um, that is the most, that's our priority, to win the Premier League. Now, Arsene Wenger was, you know, he really knew he had a very good squad of players. And he said one day, he said, this team could go unbeaten, definitely. This was the season before. So he did put a little bit more pressure on us. But he knew he had such a, a good squad of players that maybe they can go unbeaten. But when you get to um, maybe eight games to go, that's when the press in England really ramps it up. Can they go unbeaten? Can they do it? And we were just hoping that, you know, we just want to win the league. That's the most important thing. But we got to four games to go 
and we won the league. We won the league at White Hart Lane. If you're an Arsenal fan, Oscar, that is the place to win the league. It's our local rivals in North London. And we had four games really? left. And, and the last four games were the hardest because we had to concentrate. We had to keep focus. Uh, and I always remember at Portsmouth away was two second game before the end. And it was unbelievable. We got battered. We should have lost at least 5-1. But we drew 1-1. And then obviously the last game at Leicester, uh, we was 1-0 down. And we end up winning 2-1. And it's an amazing feeling when you, when you, when you do it. Um, but it's a situation where it doesn't really sink in till about three or four years later because you know how hard it is to do it. Liverpool nearly done it this year, nearly. Uh, nearly. You know, they lost to Watford. Not quite the same. I, I had a big party when they lost uh, to Watford. Uh, <laughs> I was very happy, very happy. Um, but, you. you know, it's a very difficult thing to do. Liverpool are a fantastic side. Manchester City nearly done it. They were a fantastic side. But you always have one bad day at the office. I'm sure you have, Oscar. When you've been uh, doing your wines, you've had a bad day, uh, and that's when you lose usually. But ha lucky enough, we managed to get a draw when we played really poorly, uh, and we, we, that's how, why we went unbeaten, which was uh, an amazing, you know, 2004. So we're looking 16 years ago, Oscar. So whether anybody can do that going forward, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it's, it, it was an amazing experience. Well, Ray, I think you were uh, how many seasons playing? 14 seasons, I think? Yeah, I, I was there as a, a young boy. I was there at 11 years old, signing for Arsenal. 11? And it was my dream to play on Highbury, which was the old stadium, uh, and to try and play on a regular basis for Arsenal Football Club. So I'm very lucky. I was very honoured to play with so many great players. Uh, and obviously, winning medals, which is the most important thing I've scored in football, winning trophies and having medals at the end of the season. So I was very lucky that we played in lots of successful sides and we won loads of medals, which is exactly what you want if you want to be a footballer. Absolutely. And can you tell me one of your best memories uh, while playing? Um, I think just making your debut. I made my debut at Liverpool, Anfield, which was a, a magnificent stadium. You know, the cop was singing, we'll never walk alone. And suddenly I'm playing in front of 200 usually. You're playing in front of 40,000 people. So you're a little bit nervous. My heart was like, oh, no, this is going to be a nightmare. But in the end, the atmosphere kept you going. Uh, I give away a penalty, believe it or not, on my debut, which wasn't great. Uh, we lost 2-0. Uh, but that was the experience I had. Then, obviously, scoring in the cup final, which was an um, amazing experience as well. You know, my mum and dad were big FA Cup final fans because that was the only live game in England when I was a young boy. So to watch every single FA Cup game live was, was an amazing experience. But to score a goal in one, uh, I, I, it was a dream come true for me, you know, because that, that was, you always wish one day, can I play in an FA Cup final? So I was lucky to play in five in the end, the FA Cup finals. We won four, we lost one. So it wasn't a bad record in the FA Cup for, for the Arsenal team at the time. That's good. Yeah. Um, Ray, so uh, we're going to go to the second one now. And we've got to, I, I think... Oscar, before we do that, we've got to yeah. tell the people as well. Uh, oh, please okay. comment below because obviously if you're watching, you can win a signed Arsenal shirt. And Santa Rita oh. will be picking a random person. So please comment below and hopefully you can be the lucky person who wins an Arsenal signed shirt from the first team. There we go, Oscar. We've got to throw that bit in because there's a prize there. There's a nice prize. Oh, you people really want that shirt. Oh, We're yeah. Also, uh, and we're also going to give him, um, giving a gift, you know, with uh, with one of these bottles that we we have, especially for the the joint venture that we have with Arsenal these last four years. Yeah, it's a special uh, selection of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's been a great, it's been a great partnership. I've had some great times with you guys. I mean, we went on tour last year to LA, and we've done some great, some great things. I'm going to tell you a story later when I, we met all the your guys in uh, the Diamond Club. And Gambe, have you heard of Gambe? Yeah, yeah, I oh. have. Wait, I've done four Gambe. Only, only until I can remember it, you know, four, because four after a while I brother. just forget. And I remember going home like this, whoa, whoa, he was, he was brilliant. <laughs> so at the end of, the, end of this uh, live show, we do a Gambe, me and you, Oscar. Great. Yeah, yeah, we have to. For sure. We have to do a Gambe. Uh, 120 from Santa Rita. This is by yeah. far the most important rider from Chile and in the world and so now we're going to taste the wine okay. and, and i'm not going to talk about the characteristics 
six of the wine, but I'm going to do like a, a personification of the wine. Huh? So, okay. so you can compare it with one of your teammates. Oh. I'm going to say that this Cabernet Sauvignon is like, um, like a serious guy, you know, with tuxedo, working on the stock exchange. Oh. Uh, like a feudal lord, you know, with a lot yeah. of personality and character. Uh, that's that's my Cabernet Sauvignon. So I want to ask you, you know, who would you compare it to? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one because we had so many great teammates. Um, but I love this guy to death. You know, he's one of my proper teammates. If he was in the trenches in the war, you want him next to you. He's one of them sort of guys, but he's very serious as well. So when you said serious, I've got one person, Martin Clido. And he loves a glass of wine as well, by the way. So I've Personality, I talk about character, you know, a lot of fruit, a lot of expression in the wine. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you have to give me a little bit more. Um, what can I... But it smells nice. So, again, when I got, I'm scared to go like that, it's going to come out of my glass when I go like this. <laughs> now I have you back, Ray. Sorry, I had lost you. Okay, you I, I just lost you. Yeah, okay, I got good. you now again. So, so yeah, we're talking about the serious players. Uh, probably uh, Martin, but he was a great guy, Martin Kio, one of my my old teammates. Who, you know, as I said before, if he's in a war, you want him next to you in the trenches. And how do you feel, Ray? You know, for the Premier to start again. Because I think it's going to start soon, right? Yes, yes. Um, Premier League? Next, Wednesday, next Wednesday, the first game. So next week? week. Oh, how yeah, lucky. Next Wednesday. Uh, obviously behind closed doors, no fans. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the players adapt to that. Uh, but I think everybody in England is so pleased that we can watch football again. Because we've been watching the Bundesliga. And, you know, it's not the same as England. And there's still a lot to play for. Not at the top, because Liverpool will be champions. Uh, obviously, yeah. for the top four, top five, there's a lot to play for. Uh, but the relegation battle as well is very interesting in England. So, uh, can't wait for the football. And the first game on the Wednesday is our, uh, Manchester City v Arsenal. What's the game, Oscar? I don't know what time it will be in the morning. it will be a perfect timing for you to watch it because I think it'll be about three o'clock in the afternoon for you guys in Chile. Great. But, you know, it's so, it's so good and so nice, you know, to feel the activity coming back. Even though if you are behind a TV screen, you know, that don't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting for the players, though. It'll be interesting for the players because you might hear a lot of uh, language on the pitch from the players because that's what, how it is. You know, you, uh, you sometimes swear, you get upset, you get frustrated in the game. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what the referees do when they hear a bit of bad language. Or uh, I'm sure players will try to do their best not to have bad language, but sometimes you're frustrated and you just come out with it, you know? So hopefully uh, they're quite lenient, the refs, um, when they do that. But can't wait for the football to start again. I think everybody, we want it, want it to be a safe environment, but we've all missed it so badly in England, especially. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ray, uh, you know, people is asking, you know, how they compare the wine. So I'm going to say something really simple for okay. everybody. Sauvignon Blanc. It's fresh, so you basically you have to complement and combine uh, the scriptures of the wine and the food. Okay. So Sauvignon Blanc is crispy, is soft, is juicy, is uh, it's got a little bit of acidity and crispiness. So probably mussels, you know, and seafood goes perfect uh, with it. Fresh, yeah. simple, you know, and easy. And then on the cab, as I said before, you know, this personification thing, you know, it's a serious guy with structure, with character. And with tannins, and those yeah. tannins are, are harsh on the palate, you know, big palate, big uh, power. So you have to combine it with people, with, with food, you know, that um, nets, you know, that effect, that structure. And that's yeah. proteins, grease, so basically meat, you know? Yeah, okay. Big well, I, I said before, I've, I've said this one already, that's, that, that would be my Martin Keown. If you say I'm fresh, I remember yet this young player turned up at Arsenal, uh, I think it was 1999, and he ended up becoming the all-time top goal scorer for Arsenal. Thierry Henry, okay. fresh, ready to go, athletic. 
you know, that'd be my white wine. You know, electric, easy to easy to get on with, easy to drink. Uh, it's got to be Thierry. And uh, he sat next to me. So I taught him a lot. Don't worry about that. He, what he, how he uh, got better. I'm not taking all the credit, but a lot was it down to me, I promise you. Electric, that was a good one. Oh, he, was, he was electric. Ask the Arsenal fans who were watching. They, they, he, was, he was different class at Arsenal. <laughs> so that would be it. Easy to drink, easy to get on with. Electric, uh, so, you know, he's a soft man. He's a nice spoken man and very intelligent. And that's, that's the white wine for me, for Thierry. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 Oscar, what, what, what do you like to drink more? The red wine or the, the, the white? Um, well, to tell you the truth, I'm really a white guy. Yeah. But I usually drink um, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and Rieslings. I yeah. love that. But then, you know, when it comes to pairing and trade with food, I I move along, you know, uh, along all the the wines basically. So I if I have a big meat, you know, on a barbecue place. I'm gonna have a big red. Yeah, uh, one twenty. A nice Ernest steak. Daniels. A nice steak goes with the red, huh? Nice yeah. steak and yeah. uh, very yeah. nice. But I no can need both. to, very, no very need to, you know, imagine new stuff. You know, you got to go to a good red. So this is more f fresh fish, um, you know, light vegetables and stuff like that. Yeah. A pasta. Yeah, that's a, a nice pasta. That's a seafood restaurant. Seafood pasta with a little bit of white wine. Uh, yeah, seafood. Oh, well, if you have it with a pasta, you know, it, really the, the pasta is like a little bit neutral. So it really depends on what, uh, how do you, how do you have the pasta? You know, if it's yeah. a bolognese or sauce or a seafood uh, okay. sauce. So it really depends on, because it's very neutral, very flexible. Beautiful. No, they're very, very, very easy to drink. When we, when we come off this, uh, Oscar, our call, I'll be drinking all this, all this. This is, this is a... Uh... This should be uh, my little uh, tipple tonight when I'm watching TV later. Good. Well, you know, everybody, you know, you have to know that you can find these 120 wines everywhere in London. Yes. Uh, so, so go and get a bottle, you know, for the for next week, for the first match. When I go to Arsenal, drinking one of these two. Yeah, absolutely. When, we, or, when we're watching Arsenal now, we can drink this in front of the TV and watch watch right. Arsenal. Hopefully, hopefully, when every game comes in the season. Right. Or you can be drinking this too, you know, because we're going to get one of those messages here that we're seeing and we're going to pick one and send this gift, you know, to, yeah. to them. Okay. Edition, Very good. Special edition. I must admit, we've really enjoyed. I mean, Santa Rita have been a great partner to Arsenal. They really have. Great wine, great people. So when they said to me tonight, do you want to do this uh, thing with Oscar? Uh, wine taste? I said, yes, of course. I'll be ready to go. Yeah. I've certainly enjoyed it so far, Oscar. Yeah. yeah I've enjoyed but, it a lot, you know, this remember, conversation. We've got to do a gambay. We've got to fill our glasses up soon and do a gambay to the finish to say bye to everyone, yeah? When, 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 when we're over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There we are. Got a nice glass, yeah? So I don't know what... what, what um, you know, we can say bye to everyone, maybe, and, you know, uh, hopefully everyone keeps safe. Uh, I'm so pleased the football's back, and it's been brilliant to talk to you, Oscar. I mean, what can I say? We're talking from London to Chile. It's fantastic. Uh, technology, we, what we can do these days, eh? That we can well, have a good conversation amazing. over a glass of wine. Um, it, it's, it makes it so much easier to communicate around the world. So... All I can say to you well, is, I'm sure everybody's got a glass in their hand, hopefully of uh, the 120, Santa Rita. We can also gambe, gambe. So remember this, everyone out there. You say gambe, and whatever's in your glass, you have to whoosh. So fill it up, Oscar, fill it up, fill it up. Come on. Okay, You've got to fill it up. Well. It's not the right thing to do with wine, but it's quite funny, because when I was at the Emirates in the Diamond Club, and we'd done a gambe, oh, it was fantastic. I'm going to do it with white. I've got the red, but I'm going to do it with the white. So, Oscar. Oh, that's no problem. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for all your advice on red, uh, red and white wine. Have a great evening and gambe. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. It was Gen really good to have this conversation now, huh? this chat. Gambe. And thanks, everybody, that joined us. Oh.
Well, that was beautiful. Did you like it? Oh, good. It's a little bit too much though. There's only things to sit down, but. Well, what time is right now there? It, oh, it's good. It's 25 past seven. Oh, no, okay. It's good. It's good. You can empty that bottle now. I can't have a lay Don't down worry. now. Don't worry, Oscar. I'll have a lay down after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great to speak okay. to you. All the best, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for great, joining us. Great well. to speak to you and thanks, everybody, for joining us. Huh? I'll see you in London, Oscar, next time. All the best. Yeah, remember, everybody, that they're going to get a t shirt and a, a bottle of wine. Yeah. See you later, guys. Okay. Okay.